Hi, and welcome back to our training video on YouTube. This is being brought to you by Cash Data Consulting LLC. Uh, my name is Cash, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So as for today's agenda, we are going to finish uploading the new video to YouTube. Uh, if you remember last time, uh, we uh, used Camtasia to uh, record a video. And then after we are done uploading, we are going to discuss title, description, and tags which are very important uh, after you're done uploading your video and then finally we'll uh, go over some of the statistics uh, that you can look at uh, on your YouTube channel using what's called YouTube Insight. So let's uh, get going. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and switch to the Word document that I was showing you last time. So after we had uh, finished recording I basically simply pressed F10 to stop the recording. What it did after that is essentially compiled the file and I got, uh, I'm actually trying, let me go ahead and ma maximize my work area here uh, since I'm using high resolution. But essentially after it done, got done processing I got this screen which is showing that this video is 11 um, minutes and 31 seconds. I simply clicked on save at this point and then I gave it a name so I'm calling it YouTube part 1. I clicked save it got uh, you know f did further processing and it's essentially at the end of this is here's my file uh, it stores in, in in this extension in this location okay so this is essentially where I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick this up I'm uh, let's go ahead and close this one uh, so now I'm back in Camtasia and this is actually going to be interesting because I am currently using this to record and at the same time I am going to try to process a file so um, keep your fingers crossed if this machine blows up I may have to uh, come back again but let's uh, let's do this anyway so once once you're in it your file has been processed you are going to go ahead and click on import media and this is going to go ahead and essentially uh, load up the file we are going to go ahead and browse to Camtasia uh, and I believe I got the wrong file clicked a little too fast let me try this again I am going to select uh, this file which is YouTube part 1 okay and then once you have uh, have this in here you're going to drag this down to your timeline okay and um, when you do that it's going to ask you for uh, some settings for the project I'm actually going to uh, cancel out of this uh, and one thing it does ask you it says okay do you want to change video dimensions to apply smart focus okay what smart focus does which I do like is that it uh, focuses on part of your screen that you, you know your cursor is at so as I move my cursor around the screen it kinda maximizes that area uh, Right now my resolution is uh, pretty low, so everything looks quite big, so I don't necessarily need this, but uh, in your case you may want to use this. But anyway, here's here's our timeline. Now one thing I'm going to do right away is notice that our time is 11.31, uh, which is not good because YouTube does limit it to uh, 10, 10 um, essentially 10 minutes or less. So what I'm doing now is I'm dragging, these are essentially uh, handles to work with your uh, file with the timeline I'm going to drag this guy and go down to something like 930 uh, let's see if you can maybe go to 940 we'll, we'll do that okay and then uh, what I'm going to do is grab this handle go all the way to the end and I'm going to cut this part so this is the extra part that I don't need I will simply click on this part uh, the scissors okay and just just took that out now my timeline is nine minutes and 41 uh, minutes which is great and then in fact I'm going to do one more thing which uh, which I forgot to do uh, let's see I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, go to this file what I typically do in my videos that uh, you know that are running longer than 10 minutes I will essentially put a, sort of like an ad or you know 
something you know telling the user that okay if, if uh, you would like to see the rest of this video or you know if you would like to buy the product uh, this is we ha where we have additional information. So I'll just simply have a PowerPoint one page type deal. So here you can see it says thank you for watching the video, blah blah blah. Uh, please visit our website. So this is in PowerPoint. What we need to do is, and I am clicking a little too fast. I think it must be uh, the coffee I had. Sorry about that. Let's try this one more time. I'm going to come here. <laughs> Okay, I guess third time is a charm. Maybe something is. Uh, we'll click on save, and then one I once I do that, I want to save this as. Uh, and here's the deal: I want to save this as another format, okay? Because this is PowerPoint, which we can't really do that uh, with the uh, Camtasia. So I need to convert this to a GIF file, okay? and it's going to go in my documents folder I'll go ahead and save this I'll say that's fine let's go ahead and close this and I'm going to go ahead and import the uh, image that I just stored okay and I believe it should be up here somewhere it's not showing up I'm going to have to pause this and figure this out real quickly. I'll be right. Okay, so I am back. Sorry about that. I think somehow um, the file didn't get saved. So now I'm trying this one more time. And here is our file. It's just basically one page, uh, you know, PowerPoint that what I typically do is I will tag this towards the end of the screen capture. Okay, so now we're good. You can actually. Uh, play this video and just make sure everything looks good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and essentially at this point uh, select produce video. Okay, So this is where actually um, you'll be needing to pay attention because here are some specific uh, options that I picked for YouTube that I think in my opinion seem to work pretty good. Okay, So uh, they're recommending out of the box uh, web uh, web layout. They notice you do have some layout, and they in fact have one for the YouTube also. Uh, you know, you can feel free to use this all. You know, if you want. What I end up doing usually is I'll pick custom settings, okay, and I will generate this as a, a Windows Media video, okay, and then here uh, I'm going to leave everything as is for the encoding. And then I am going to pick essentially 800 by 600 video size, okay. And then uh, this is again one of those things that if you click on options, uh, you can go ahead and enter some information. I am just going to say uh, how to make YouTube video. Essentially, uh, you could you know enter more information if you like. In fact, I would put some keywords here also. For author, uh, that's me, Cash Magal. The website that looks good. Uh, you could put in something like that for YouTube if you like. If I could type. All right. So basically, you know, that's a little bit of information about the video. I will just go ahead and do next. Okay. If you need to add a table of contents, which I don't need, so I will just say next. And so this is where you actually generate the file. Okay. I am going to call this. Um, essentially YouTube part one okay this is part one the file that we are recording right now will be part two and here's an interesting option in here too you can upload this video to uh, screencast.com if you like I'm going to just leave this as is notice this is where our video is going to reside and it is going to be called this one and so let's go ahead and click finish now this is going to take a little bit here um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run, let this run in the background. I'm actually going to switch to um, the next topic, which is discussing title, description, and tags. Okay. So um, and this is this part is what I 